Partition numbers. Let's look at two integer values to begin with. 3, we can draw that out. 3 and 7. We might know straight away which number is largest. However, let's draw our number line and try and make a more visual representation of which number is larger. We'll put 0 on our number line as a good reference point. We'll put 3, we'll put 7, that distance in a little bit again, here. We know that the least numbers appear over to the left of our number line. The greatest numbers, or well, the greatest number, appears furthest to the right on our number line. So, of the numbers we've written out, 3 and 7, 7 is the greatest number. So, we can say that 7 is greater than 3. If we're dealing with numbers that include um, decimals, for instance, 3.01 and 3.009. It's useful to think about which, uh, e uh, which column each number's in. What's the place value of each number included in these numbers? So we've got ones here, units you could say. We've got tenths and hundredths. Well, we put the zero in that represents the thousandth column to show that uh, the number is given to three decimal places of accuracy. So that's, I've just got through thousandths there, and we've got one uh, unit, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. Uh, that helps us to say the number in a different way, so instead of saying 3.010, we can say 3 and one hundredth, or 3 and ten thousandths. This number here, we can say is 3 and nine thousandths should be a clue as to which number is greater in this case. Let's draw our number line out. We'll start at 3.007, that's 3 and 7 thousandths. 3.008, 3 and 8 thousandths. 3.009, 3 and 9 thousandths, that's the first one of our numbers included. Then 3.010, 3 and 10 thousandths, or 3 and 1 hundredth. It's the same. Uh, we're using the same kind of number line with the least number, the value with the number with the least value on the right, on the left, and the number with the greatest value on the right. Uh, we can see that the two numbers included are here and here. The greatest of the two numbers is 3 and 10 thousandths. The number with the least value is 3 and 9 thousandths. So we can write out that 3.009 is less than 3.010. Um, at first glance, it can sometimes be confusing because the first number that appears after the decimal place, if it was an integer value, um, would be it would be the other way around. Um, nine is greater than one, but you need to consider the column that the numbers appear in to make sure that you're partitioning numbers correctly.